Dale Robertson. I'm a tattoo artist at Tatted Up Body Shop. I started tattooing basically just to pick up a, a different style of art. You know what I'm saying? Like I, you know, I've been drawing all my life, painting, doing a lot of paintings. Like tattooing was just the next step of being a, you know, an artist to me. I could have went to the, you know, graphic design, you know, and all that other stuff. But I chose to do tattooing because it's just, you know, basically just like, you know, basically drawing on paper, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, really it was just a, a avenue I wanted to take and a, and a land I wanted to create for myself as a as an artist. 21st birthday, I bought me a tattoo kit. I think if I started out of high school, I'd be like a lot further than where I'm at now. I think my favorite tattoo I have would have to be, I would say my back piece that I'm starting on. It, uh, it has a, a Indian chief, it has a skull head with a crown on it, and it has a, a King Tut, you know what I'm saying? Like, and at the bottom it says Last King. And it's funny because me and my mama had that conversation when I showed it to her, she asked me why I put Last King here. I have a son. But I said, at the end of the day, you don't have any more sons, so I'm your last king. You know what I'm saying? And you know, she kind of looked at it and thought about it. She was like, yeah, you know, you're right. And I'm like, you know, I, I got reasoning for why I did it. You know what I'm saying? It's just, I think, you know, that would be my favorite piece because her legacy really, well, her legacy and my daddy's legacy really ends with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, far as being the last son, you know what I'm saying? Man, my first tattoo was the, uh, it was crazy, cause you know, a lot of people call me by my nickname, like a lot of people that, that I look at funny, like when they, they claim they know me, I just tell them, well, what's my nickname? You know, my nickname is Manip, you know what I'm saying? And my cousin always clown with this, like, man, let's go, yo, you should get your name tatted on you somewhere. I'm like, man, what name? Like, I don't know nobody know I'm Bill, you know what I'm saying? They're like, man, give him a nip. So I'm like, I say, man, matter of fact, the dude I work for, Bo Willie, he, uh, he actually drew my tattoo, he was like, what you want? I said, man, I want my nickname on me. He was like, what's your nickname? He was like, my neck. Man, how you gonna do that? You know what I'm saying? I was like, man, I don't know, just draw something up. So he actually drew a gorilla, holding like, you know, holding this private area with the world on his shoulder, and he put the words around it. All I have in this world are my nuts instead of my nut, my nuts and my word. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know my cousin used to clown with me and call me my nuts, you know, just being stupid. You know what I'm saying? And you know, that was my first actual tattoo. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Man, my first tattoo I did, it was actually this little black star right here. And I was so scared doing it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was, I mean, I came a long way from it. You know, and, and it just was, I was scared to stick myself anywhere. You know what I'm saying? I was scared to actually stick somebody without having the, the proper knowledge of doing a tattoo. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, you know what? I had, I had what, two tats already? You know what I'm saying? I had three tats already, actually. You know, and I kind of, I'm kind of like a picky person. Like, I, I like to watch and see what people are doing and kind of like get a feel of, you know, what's going on. So, you know, every time I got tatted, I used to watch people set up, you know what I'm saying? You know, like the, the proper procedures they take. So, you know, like when I got ready to actually buy my gun and, and set it up, like I set my gun up like that, you know, cause I actually watched hands on, like what people was doing and, and everything like that of that nature. But, you know, like for actually sticking somebody, I wasn't, nah, I wasn't about to do that. So I, you know, I, I tatted it on myself, you know, opened up my little kit. You know, and I, and I did a little stuff, something easy, something simple, just to get a feel. I'm like, man, you can't go wrong with a stuff. It's just like you can't go wrong with tattooing a circle. You know what I'm saying? Well, you can, but you can't. You know what I'm saying? And I just, I went that way with it. You know what I'm saying? I just started. I mean, actually, it didn't look like this. It was worse than that. You know what I'm saying? I just, over time, I just, you know, played with it some more, fixed it. And I actually, you know, came to the conclusion that why not just shade it in and add more, you know, around it, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of my motivation came from you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, watching you, 
you know, seeing your, your brother drawing books, like, you know, a lot of that really came from, like, that was my push, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, all through high school, me and you, like, we, even though they had a million and one other artists at high school, like, we was the only two that really stood out, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, like, they asked me and you, man, who you think drop better, me or you or him? And what we'll say, man, he got it, you know what I'm saying? What you would say, man, he got it. You know what I'm saying? Like, we never really was competitive. Like, we was in it together, and we fed off each other with it. Right now, like now that I'm older, like the person I, I lean towards now is like, uh, I would say, you know, Bo Willie. You know what I'm saying? Cause like y'all, y'all too, like I watch him draw and I remember watching you draw like, man, y'all like kind of parallel. You know what I'm saying? And like, like I said, like I always feed off of like things that I wanna you know what I'm saying? Like, learn how to do, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you always had that thing to where the, the stuff you draw, like, you don't have to look at a face and, and draw a woman's face, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's in there, you know what I'm saying? He's the same way, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I sit there and watch him all the time, like, all that stuff up there, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just stuff he sat there and just sketched out, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, and that, that always, you know, it, it always drives me, like, every, Everybody that does that type of artwork, like I get a, you know, I, I kind of latch on to them because I like the the style and how they just, you know, how you can properly put a face in place, you know what I'm saying, without the ears being, you know, it's proportioned, it is perfect, you know what I'm saying, and I, I like that, you know what I'm saying, I lean towards, like, you know, like I said, when I was younger, you and now that I'm older, him, you know what I'm saying, you know, I fell off a motorcycle, you know what I'm saying, I probably slid like, I was good 50, 60 yards, you know what I'm saying? And uh, my biggest injury was not that I, I lost my tattoos, Was it was more me having nerve damage and, and really like messing up my hand from trying to, you know, I ain't gonna say brace myself, but pick myself up and, and catch my fall like while I was, I was tumbling, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, I mean, I went through two two surgeries. One on my one on my knuckles and the other one on my on my wrist. Where I did the wrist like last year. But uh, I mean, the thought of it for a second when I first when I first was injured, it really didn't dawn on me that my hand was really that messed up until like when time came and. And I couldn't twist open a 20 ounce bottle. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, when I, I couldn't I couldn't hold a, a, a wrench to, you know, to unscrew a, a nut off of a screw. You know, and I said to myself, like, you know, this is really major. You know what I'm saying? I started going to the doctor, you know what I'm saying? And they, you know, they cut my knuckles open. They said I had some uh it wasn't tissue. It was uh, I can't think of what it was. I, knew I had to have a capsulotomy, you know what I'm saying? But they cut it open and they just basically cleaned it out, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, after that, I thought it would be perfect, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I wouldn't have no problems with it, but, you know, as I'm going to the doctor and, and therapy, the woman told me, like, your hand will never be the same, you know what I'm saying? Like, at times, like, I can't even, I can't hyper extend it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can see I can hyper extend it, like, this one stays straight. Like I got hyper extend them, but these two fingers, like, you know, they stay like that. And you know, I can't even, I can't put too much grocery bags in my hand at times, you know what I'm saying? Cause like if I hold it like that, once I let it go, my hand will take back the shape, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you know, by itself, you know what I'm saying? And, I mean, I got over that. I, I got used to it. I started stretching it out more, you know what I'm saying? And I really, really just, you know, never let it bother me, you know what I'm saying? Just like I know when when my hands start aching, just take a break, you know, calm down, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't do too much. And, but when that, you know, when that was still, you know, when I got over the phase of realizing that my hand would never be the same, I, uh, I started having problems with my wrist, you know what I'm saying? And that was from the same injury, and you know, it, it just happened like back to back, you know what I'm saying? Like, once I got my hand straight, my wrist started bothering me, you know what I'm saying? And 
I got that straight. They uh, you know, basically did the same thing, but they they scoped it. You know, what I'm saying put the laser in it and, and cleaned it out. And you know, from time to time, we still had the same problems. You know, what I'm saying, but I mean, it's really more about how I handle. You know, what I'm saying how I use it. You know, what I'm saying and the precautions I take. Like I'm not I'm not gonna overwork myself because I know tomorrow I'm gonna pay for it. You know, what I'm saying I'm not. I'm not about to go play football and be diving and, and trying to break, you know, break my fall, catch my fall, because I know <laughs> I might pay for it tomorrow or, or months later, still be paying for it. You know what I'm saying? It's like I just, I, I just really, I cut back on a lot of stuff that I do just to, you know, just to preserve it more than what I actually, you know, have. Man, honestly, art is my life. You know what I'm saying? Because. The times when, you know, it's funny, you know, my, my partner used to always climb with me and tell me I couldn't come outside. And you just don't know what I was doing when I was inside. I was drawing, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, like art is really my my escape from reality. You know what I'm saying? Like I I sit down, you know, and a lot of people will see and, and will notice, like, and my mom would really notice it the most. Like, when I'm in my room, my door shut, you know, I'm in my own world, I'm, I'm, I'm creating art, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's all, you know, that's all I really have. That's my peace of mind, you know what I'm saying? Like, just just to actually brainstorm and put something on paper and it'll actually, you know, be beautiful, you know what I'm saying? It's actually a reflection of what you was thinking, you know what I'm saying? Like, that, that's a, that's a lot, you know what I'm saying? That's what it really is to me.